Hey, and welcome back. Um, so, things had changed, right? Uh, you know, one time I went to a baseball game, and these two older ladies, uh, they were watching the game, and I noticed that they had actually snuck in a handle of liquor, right? And uh, so as the game was going on, you know, they were drinking on this, this handle, and uh, about mid-game, they ended up being so drunk that they actually couldn't even see the scoreboard, right? And so they were just like, we'll come up with our own scoreboard, okay? So they look at each other, and, and this is what I heard him say. I heard him say, uh, it's the bottom of the fifth, and the bags are loaded. Uh, anyways, that's actually a throwback to uh, Andy Kaufman, in case uh, you didn't know. And speaking of things that have been left behind but not forgotten, uh, we're, today we're going to be talking about washers that I like to call the left behind washers, or the washed up washers. It's kind of like the Left Behind books. Uh, in case you're not familiar with the Left Behind books, you know, it's, it's about the rapture and the people that were left behind, right? And so you, we can say that all the washers that we've talked about so far in this series on washers, so in the last three episodes, uh, all, you know, were given ISO counterparts and still have standards that are valid today. Um, and so we can say that they have been raptured into the ISO world, right? Uh, whereas the uh, the washers that we're going to talk about today uh, have do have not received any kind of ISO counterpart or replacement, um, and all of them except for one have actually had their standards withdrawn. So, uh, so that's enough of the jokes today. We're going to uh, go get going with our eighth episode of the Metric Fastener Standard Comparisons Blog series. All right, uh, so. Which did standards have been left behind? Well, I'm going to list them out for you here. Then 127, which are spring lock washers. Then 128, which are curved spring lock washers. Then 137, 7, which are spring washers. Then 67, 97, so tooth lock washers. Then 67, 98, serrated lock washers. And then 79, 80 are single coil spring lock washers, right? So all of those have been not only had did they not receive ISO counterparts, they have been withdrawn. Then 6796 uh, did not receive an ISO counterpart. Uh, those are conical spring washers, right? But they actually still have a valid DIN standard today. So DIN 6796 is still a valid standard, okay? So why did DINs 127, 128, 137, 6797, 6798, and 7980 get withdrawn? Well, technically, they're useless. I know, right? Uh, you heard me correctly, I am dissing those DINs, okay? Um, so, uh, I feel like my opening joke isn't going to be as uh, controversial as, as this claim, which should be, right? The joke is kind of ageist and sexist. Uh, I am millennial after all, right? So, uh, uh, you know, things have changed uh, again. Uh, but in all seriousness, there is both experiential and experimental evidence dating back to 1969 that shows the ineffectiveness of these washers. Um, the body of evidence became so large that eventually the, du the Deutsch Institute for Normalization actually did withdraw those standards altogether. Um, they've actually been withdrawn for quite some time. Um, but, you know, as we know, engineers still put them in their planning for whatever reason. Maybe they know something that others don't, I don't know. Um, but, uh, so, so, uh, but they have been withdrawn, right? So. Uh, so again, 127, 128, 137, 6797, 6798, and 7980 are actually fully discouraged for use with bolts of class 8.8 .8 steel and above, right? Um, so not only are they withdrawn, but they're actually discouraged for use with those bolts. Uh, but DIN 6796 is actually considered effective, that the research showed that they did prevent settling, okay? Uh, whereas the other ones did not prevent settling or any kind of loosening of the nuts or bolts. Um, so, and so like I said again, none of these guys have ISO standards at all. So maybe they won't be around forever. And maybe that's why I decided to open up with a uh, controversial Andy Kaufman joke, I don't know. Because whatever it is, right? Um, so anyways, uh, we actually sell all of them 
You know, we can we can source any of those dents. Uh, so if you are looking for them for whatever reason, uh, we will be glad to supply you with them. Funny enough, right? Um, so that's it for today. Uh, the takeaway for today's lesson is that DINs 127, 128, 137, 6796, 6797, 6798, and 7980 do not have ISO counterparts uh, or replacements, and all of them except for DIN 6796 uh, have had their standards withdrawn, leaving only DIN 6796 out of those washers um, as having a actual valid standard because of it having an actual real application, right? So, uh, whereas the others are in ineffective. So as always, feel free to contact me personally at london at eurolinkfss.com with any questions or of course, requests for quotes. Uh, and check out the Eurolink website to view other metric faster comparison um, videos and or uh, download the lesson plans for these videos. Thank you very much and have a great day.